Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to Mortal Kombat, and today we'll be checking out Season 7 for Mortal Kombat, Shang Tsung Season, the Soul Gatherer Season. So, I'll be showing up to you some, like stuff that is new, and you know, some character changes, because some character changes, they get some new moves. But first, let's check out the item shop, you know, the free stuff. Not not the, not the paid ones, but just kind of like the ones where we get for playing Invasions. Yes, I know some people don't like it playing Invasions. I personally like it. I think Invasions is at least reasonable. I understand it's not the crypt, but hey, it's still good. So let's just check out, you know, what free items you can get from just playing invasions or just playing in general the game. So starting with um, Ermac or any DLC characters, obviously you cannot get any of them. But Katana's main thing is just a fan, kind of disappointing. Same thing with Molina, just a dagger. Same thing with, with freaking General Shao, just an axe. Nice. Just her little helmet, I guess. Our Tanya gets a skin at least. 6,000 coin is crazy. This skin is kind of mid too, I can't even lie. I'm not a fan of this. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the colorway, but I'm not really a fan of it. Uh, what else? Reiko gets a helmet, I guess, of a tiger. Whatever that is. Rain gets another staff. Kind of whatever. A smoke gets a skin that I guess I already have. The rating gets a hat. Kind of boring. Liu Kang gets a skin as well. That's pretty cool. Again, not a fan of these colors. Like the gray and like the lime green. Not really a fan. Not gonna lie. And also, what is, like, whatever's on his head too. Not a fan of that. Ooh, Scorpion gets a skin as well. This one's actually pretty nice. Same thing with the mask, kind of like um, a school mask. That's pretty cool. I think it'll go cool with the skin. Reptile gets just a basic mask, literally basic mask. What what what, what are these masks? Literal laziness. Sub Zero gets an all right one, I guess. Like, this is supposed to be Revenants from MK11. They're not holding up the par. I can't even lie. Wait, where's the red vines? You know where the red veins? I guess I already had one of these. I guess glasses or whatever. Liu Kang doesn't even look like a Revenant. He just kind of has the black and lime, more like a yellow. Some of these I literally already had before the season even came out. What is this? And these don't even look that good. Can't even lie. Kenshi's, I guess, is okay. Honestly, the really only good one is Scorpion's. And not because I'm fan of him, just because he's an actual revenant. Ashra just gets a sword. Wow. Tara just wings. Damn, okay, wait, hold on. I want to see this mask. The hell is this? What type of mask is this? Like a helmet for football? Garrus. Dude. This year, I'm just saying this. The past, I think, three seasons or two seasons, the free stuff has not been it, man. I can't even lie. And maybe they're endorsing it so you can buy like, new stuff. But man, this is not it. I can't even lie. But now let's get into some of the new characters. Um, says such as Lee Mei and Sub Zero, and I think with the Frost as well, and Goro, some of the cameos. So let's get into it. We're now getting into Frost's first cameo. I'm just going to go through the cameos first and then the main roster starting off with Frost. So she gets like an ice wall. That's kind of her new thing, you know? Boom, corner, you know, corner combo. They're gonna go crazy. Because you could just make, basically make the corner like um, any map, basically. Like, you can, um, like, basically call the corner anywhere. Like, boom. Okay. Oh, bah. It's like, basically, he's just kind of stuck there until it breaks. I think it's like 5, 10 seconds that it's there for, if I'm not mistaken. Are right, they now getting into Goro? He actually has some game changers. Like, he could actually cam um cancel out of his moves. So, like, for example, if I do down and call him at the same time, he does that. Such as his stomp thing, like we call him in, and boom, 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 boom. But it actually costs a full bar for him. So like you actually need to use, as you see top left, his actual full bar to do that one move. So just be a cautionary of that. But this is the other example though. And then boom, grabs him, and then boom, boom. You know, you can like do combos after that. So like you can actually call him in and cancel him at the same time. So let's check out the other cameo. Now getting into Scorpion, basically he's able to actually give you a fire aura, which I think does damage to you and maybe the opponent, if I'm not mistaken. To do it, basically you have, to, you have to hold top right bumper, whatever button you used to call him out. Look at that, boom. So look at the damage. Anytime you're close to the, um, your opponent, you're gonna do a lot of damage while you're next to them. You can do this, boom. And then boom, boom, boom. No, boom, 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 like that. And you can do a lot more damage because you're close to him. Now getting into Cyrax, basically his new move that like, when he calls in his bomb, if you hit him, I, I'm like, I'm not going to hit him, but if you hit him, basically he drops the bomb. When is he going to go? There you go. So basically like whenever like, you hit him or like the opponent hits him, he will drop the bomb and then he'll explode himself. Basically, this is Garrus's new move. Basically, you have to like first attack him and then watch. He does a little sweep at the end. Boom. So when you get up, he does a sweep. That's basically his new move. So now let's go into the next cameo character. Now getting into Sector. Sector basically has two missiles. So if you double click the um the missile button basically to call him out he will actually launch two missiles it'll cost two bars but you can actually get him with it but it is not comable so you have to like actually like stand still to do it you would actually have to like stand still and let the two missiles actively hit the um, opponent 
Alrighty, now getting into Lumi's new actually added attack, which is a pop-up, is back two, four, or YB, or triangle circle, which is basically a pop-up now, which you can go, like, into. So you can actually combo into it. Boom. And then via Sonya, for example, you could also call her in. So kind of like this. Boom. Boom. And then, like, you could also do more stuff, but that's kind of the basic, because I'm not really a main for Lee Mei, so I don't know too much with her. Yeah, so basically you go boom, boom, boom. And if I'm doing bad, you know, I'm just doing bad, I guess. I don't really know too many combos for her. But that is basically the gist of it. Alrighty, now getting into the last cameo thing kind of big because like all the other characters yes they get big buffs like Sub-Zero got some new framework but that stuff I really don't care for just I care about the new moves and new characters that are in the game so honestly I'm not gonna give her her own video she's a cameo character I'm not gonna give her own video so she'll be here and yeah the new character is Farah. I don't know what she does in this stance if you click down and then call her out she does that kind of stance move I don't know exactly what she does she does cheer on maybe you get more meter when she cheers you on I'm not sure yet but her second ability is to actually go on to you. So if you just regularly call her in, she basically, you're able to go on here. Um, it's called, and she has like, instead of you being able to dash, you have this specific movement while she's on you. And she could only be on you for half a meter. So that is the only half a meter and she's on you. So yeah, and you could, like your jump is kind of small. Can't even lie, like it is pretty short. And then these are the moves with her. So if you click um, one or X or um, what is this, square? I think if I'm not mistaken, it is a throw. So you pop them up into the air. I don't think it's comboable, if I'm not mistaken. And then here's two wire triangles. That's a pop up, which you can actually combo into. And it does take a full meter. So go like, boom. 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 Oh, I kind of messed it up, but you get the gist of it. And then here's um, three A or X, depending on what console you're on, which is, which is also comboable. God, I feel like I'm saying that word wrong, but basically you throw them, boom, boom. And then like, basically you just combo into them. It's not, you get, guys get the idea. And then here's four, which is a throw pop. I thought it was a throw pop up, but I guess not. It is just a throw. And then this is her best, I think, thing, pain in game, which is I think an MKX. You actually get a holder too while in pain in game, which you can actually combo into, which I'll actually show up into a combo. We're going to pain in game, tosser, boom, 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 boom. And boom. Look at that damage. Because I'm going to do the same exact combo, but without Farah, basically. At least how much damage you get there. But there we got 31% basically, 316 damage. Now let's check without the pain and gain. This is the combo without pain and gain. So basically it goes boom, 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 boom. Look at that. So you get actually 70% more damage for doing the pain and gain. Plus, I understand maybe the pop up. But even then, that is still no damage basically. So look at that. Okay, so I did the same exact combo with the painting gear and I got 275. So for Homelander, I think one of the weakest characters in the game does need Farah for painting gain because man, she is so weak. Or he, I guess, is so weak. I didn't mean to say she, but he is so weak. And for, I understand Farah's gonna take some time to get set because no, it's not like any opponent's just gonna let you use Farah willingly. You know, they're gonna try to stop you from using painting gain. But basically, that is Farah and Homelander combo. I think Homelander's gonna need Farah or at least some type of character to help juggle characters because he's kind of on the weaker side. And speaking of Homelander, I personally liked Season 4, in my opinion. It was actually really good. Like, honestly, it was really, really good, in my opinion. I do think some of the things that I think did mess up were for me, like, how Starlight got mad at Huey for it after it happened when, like, he figured out that actually Starlight wasn't the shapeshifter. Or the shapeshifter wasn't actually, you know, his girlfriend. So that kind of did bug me, because, like, it wasn't his fault. I understand her frustration, but, like, he was the victim of literally, you know, I'm not going to say the word, but you guys understand if you guys are watching the season. I can't wait for season five and season two for Gen V. I'm excited. Season four overall as a whole, I would give it like a seven out of 10. In rankings, I would put it like I say, under season one of Gen V, under season three of the boys, under season two, maybe above season one of the boys. Maybe that would be my ranking. But that was basically the boys. And this is basically like Farrah and Homelander's kind of dynamic. When I get into invasions, basically everything's still the same. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not even gonna show up a gameplay me doing invasions. Because, I'm, again, a lot of people don't like this. I personally do. But it's just basically the same as that map. Make a hunt, like, you know, finish this map, move, move, move here. Finish that map, go here. Finish this map, go here. Finish that, you know, just basically going all the way around until you beat Shang Tsung. Kind of the same thing. And online as well hasn't changed either. The online practice mode hasn't came yet. So a lot of people are mad about that. So I can't lie. Right now, uh, the new update season, for at least new characters are getting updates. But, like, gameplay-wise and, like, game modes-wise, it is very dry. 
And this was season one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please like, subscribe, and comment for more. If you want more MK content, comment down MK. But have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.